Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. Welcome back to Pet Training. Baby Tomega, the Polaris Test Realm Pets. This time I have the Beastmaster's Eagle. Now, <laughs> I know it looks like the Raven Pet just with a different skin. But let me tell you, these pets that are coming out of Polaris, at least in Test Realm, are no joke at all. This pet, just like the other pets I've trained, has only Ultra Rares and Epics for its PvE PvP talents. Look at that list. Just wow. Look at these stats. 240 strength to start. Every Actually, everything. Yeah, everything there is 200 or above. That is going to be a top grade pet. Even if it doesn't get good, you know, good usable talents, and you'll, be, you'll be able to make something in because it's already got good stats. Let's see. For Derby, we've got... So yeah, they see, they made these pets not to... Ri they made these pets to fight, not to race. I started to say to race. I was <laughs> tongue-tied. Yeah, they don't have much for race talents, but they have got it where it counts in the in the combat, in the in the arena and out talents. All right, let me go ahead and get this eagle trained up to its team level, and I will be right back. I'm a little distracted there for a minute. And I am back with the Beastmaster Eagles team level training. I was talking to Mason during the walkthrough. He originally got this pet as his first drop, so I had. I kind of had to go back and farm the Beastmaster a couple of times to get this pet. But I was telling him at the time when we first walked in there that being as this boss was a Beastmaster, he more than likely had at least one pet to drop. And so far as I know, confirmed he has this pet and an Arctic Ninja Pig, which I'll be training in another Baby to Mega video. But I would bet just about that he has several more pets in his drop list. I knew that when, the minute I saw the name that he was gonna he was gonna be a pet dropper boss. Let me see, here we go. And the first talent is gonna be Cunning. I got a selfish talent for my first one, great. Plus 25 max intellect, plus 40 max agility. Okay, well that probably wasn't the best thing I could have hoped for, but alright, we'll take that. Negative, and he got exhaust, which is negative four morale to leader, 20 second cooldown. All right, he, he started with a selfish talent, and really the trend is I never want to see selfish talents, even if they do have a use. But we'll hope for a little bit something better on his adult level. I will be right back with that. And there we go. One more training for the Beastmaster Eagle to make its adult level. I've watched the mechanic of this. This is the first pet from Polaris that I've seen so far that actually has... A sound animation when it comes out of the cannon. I, I kind of thought that might have been a glitch at the beginning because the first couple of pets I trained have no sound. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they just haven't got to it yet. And this one sounds more like a crow than it does an eagle, but okay, at least they have a sound mechanic to go with it. I also like that really, uh, really tight football spiral that it does coming out of the cannon. It looks like a big brown dart. You can just see it coming out of there. It looks like it means business. And it actually. Hits the blocks, but for a little tiny bird, hits the blocks pretty well. All right, let's see what we got now. We have got... Powerful. I got another selfish talent on this pet. That's interesting. Plus 65 max power. I wonder if you can't mix it. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute on the next training. Hang on. Let me get this one finished up and head for Ancient. All right, I will be back in one moment. Well, it'll be one moment to you guys, as far as the camera goes, with this eagle's epic, or I'm sorry, ancient level. Back in one moment. All right, back once again with the Beastmaster Eagle's ancient level. I've been doing some thinking while I trained this pet and this selfish talent that I got for the first two passes. With the armament pet, the PvP armament pet being what it is and having such high stats, I wonder if they're going to allow you now to mix Selfish Talents in and have them stick to other pets. I can't confirm this yet, but I did do a mix to see what would happen. And it, it hasn't gone either way yet, I guess basically is what I want to say about this. I've got a really big boost to power with this one Selfish Talent that people has. But my first mix fell in between the two pets. So I can't really tell for sure yet. I'm going to do some experimenting and see if they now allow Selfish Talents to, to add to your overall total. 
I'll get back to you on that one in another video. But for now, our talent is going to be... I'll just die if it gets another selfish talent. Okay. What do I need? I need some will. There we go. We'll give him will. Okay, no, he got balance dealer, which is... That's great. I need that to mix up a balance pet. That's awesome to have. Let's say We also got Bombardier, which is add bomb to all lanes, 50 second cooldown, and it's Ancient Socket. There we are. All right. So that is going to finish up part one for the Beastmaster's Eagle. Let me show you what it got overall on its chart. It got Cunning, and it got Balance Dealer, and it got Powerful. I have a Mighty Gem that does the same thing, a pet gem called Mighty, that gives you the same amount of, pow of uh, extra power. Let's see. And for Derby, it got Bombardier, and Exhaust, and Weaken. And, like I said, look at these stats. 240, 240, 290 Agility. Wow. 215 Will, which is its lowest talent now, and 265 Power. This is... This is going to be a monster pet when it's done. All right. But for now, that's going to be the end of part one. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or other pets or maybe any other thing you want to see me do. If you'd like, leave a comment to talk to me, ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeletal Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. Welcome back to part two of Pet Training Baby Tomega, the Beastmaster's Eagle. There's a few things that you ought to know about right off the bat, and that is, for one thing, <laughs> you might notice the name change. And for another, whenever you go to see the stats and talents of the pet, you'll notice it's a little bit different.